This is Kilo, Kilo 4, Delta Alpha, Sierra. Kilo, Kilo 4, uh, repeat the rest. The rest. Delta Alpha, Sierra. Kilo, Kilo 4, Delta Alpha, Sierra. Oh, Roger, sir, and what's the name? The name here is Dean, Delta Echo Alpha November. TCH is Great Falls, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. Ah, great. Well, you're, uh, Dean, you're giving me a uh, five over uh, on my uh, Magaloop uh, antenna, Roger. Roger. Oh, very good. Um, my operating condition is a Kenwood CS450F uh, running in the uh, Solid 30L1 amplifier. So I'm probably going to push it out. Roger, uh, let's see. Uh, I thought you were on my local antenna, but uh, I think I was on one of the uh, uh, SDRs. We're running four SDRs this afternoon. Uh, Rochester, New York, <laughs> which keeps rejecting me. Oh, I have, they have a problem with me. Uh, there's, I'm supposed to have a password, but they failed to to uh, recognize it. And uh, we're also running a Raleigh uh, SDR, a uh, Milford PA SDR, and a, uh, an Alexandria, uh, Virginia SDR, trying to help out our our hundred watt friends uh, make a cleaner trip uh, so uh, we can get a better recording. Roger, Roger. Roger, and I did go to my local antenna, and you were, are about a six over there. So I guess that's where I was. I, you know, uh, I'm losing my mind. After about uh, an hour or so, uh, you know, uh, things get uh, really murky. <laughs> uh, there's so many things going on. It's just, uh, you know, like how to drive a bus with one hand, Roger. Well, Roger, Roger for that. So my, my question here today is um, I've had some reports of RF in my uh, in my audio, uh, but in playing around about a little bit the other night, I think I determined it was when my processor was on or off. This particular radio, there's no settings on the processor. You just turn it on and then turn it off. Um, I have it off right now. I've got the mic gain up at about 10. On the dial, it's probably about, uh, about 9.30. Roger, Roger. Well, um, uh, let me uh, give you some advice. Um, uh, the most important thing that, that you need to do is uh, consistently address the microphone. Uh, uh, you must uh, always uh, address the microphone the same way uh, so your audio level is uh, is the same at least that gives the rest of your your processing system a chance if uh, you're you're four inches off mic and then two inches off mic uh, that uh, creates a problem for the chain to try to correct all that and make uh, everything the same level coming out which is what you want uh, you want uh, your average peak modulation uh, uh, to be between 80 and 85 percent consistently. Now I'll tell you what I do. Uh, I have, I'm running an electret microphone uh, and uh, I'm running a windscreen and I'm right up in the mic with the windscreen. Uh, now uh, we, if you do that uh, you have to be ready to uh, take care of uh, a thing called proximity effect. A proximity effect says that the closer you work a microphone, the more low frequency buildup there is. So obviously, if you're right into the microphone, you're going to have a tremendous amount of, of that uh, uh, buildup. And uh, so you EQ that out as a general rule uh, that you, you know, and, and bring your mic EQ back to, uh, to normal, even though you're right up in it. But the thing that, uh, uh, the advantage of that is that your, your audio is uh, consistent, absolutely consistent. There is no fluctuation. There is no back off like this or off to the side like that. Uh, you're on mic and uh, you have a very uh, consistent signal. Now, the second thing is, I'm running an ART preamp uh, which furnishes the uh, uh, phantom power supply for the condenser microphone and I'm also running a limit on that uh, preamp so I'm limiting 
Uh, probably about uh, 5 or 6 dB. Now this isn't necessarily compression. This is a very a quick attack time and release time. And uh, so it's more like a limiter than it is a compressor. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, probably 6 dB of limiting uh, before I even get into the radio. Uh, then I'm running a token amount of compression, like maybe uh, uh, 3 out of 10. And I am also running my ALC at mid-scale to two-thirds. So the end product is a very fat audio signal. Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. I've got that. So I'm running a high on DM5 microphone right now. On the white end, it's uh, no But I, I think your audio, I think your voice is falling off. I don't think you're really attacking the microphone uh, the way that you would want to. And I would suggest this. I would suggest that you get a windscreen. I think there are four or five bucks. Get a foam windscreen, put on the mic, and then get into that mic maybe an inch or so. And um, if you can look at your watt meter, that's uh, in other words, if you can see what you're doing, and if you establish a, a say a zero level of wattage uh, reading on your meter, and then as you speak, uh, you can see that uh, the meter is either reaching zero or not. And if your meter is down like this, then you want to speak up to bring it up to there. So, but you have a visual reference as to uh, what your audio level is, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. So I'm looking at the watch here right now and I'm seeing it kind of fluctuate up and down as I talk. So I'm getting the idea of what you're talking about. I've also brought the mic in a little closer and I'm attacking a little bit more. So presumably that's making a little bit of a difference. Oh, Roger, Roger, all right, <laughs> that's great, and that's just, you know, the more you do that and, and practice watching that meter as you speak, you will realize uh, that uh, how, uh, you know, less consistent you were before and how more consistent you're going to be now, Roger. Uh, that makes perfect sense, and, uh, you know, it makes a lot of sense that you got to have the microphone near where the audio is in order for it to, in order for it to pick up. Um, what I'd like to do, if you're all right with it, is turn on my mic processor. I'm not sure I'm going to get Uh, you did uh, fade out just uh, just a little bit. I'll tell you what. Now I have nothing against uh, uh, nothing against outboard processing, but you know I don't think it's really necessary. I think if you engage your preamp at a three. Engage your preamp at a 3 out of 10 and bring your ALC up to mid-scale to two-thirds. Your average peak modulation will be between 80 and 85 percent, which is an extremely fat signal. And the other, other thing left outside of that is the EQ uh, curve. And I think you already have a, a nice mic EQ curve going, Roger. Uh, I gotta watch my mic. Uh, 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 what's the right? My my microphone technique, and uh, that'll help a lot. Oh, absolutely! I can see an improvement there, and I see that you've got you've got the message right on. You you now it's just practice, and so the more you you speak, concentrating on watching your watt meter, uh, the better. You know, it's just uh, just uh, habit by now, or in in the future. You know, you've got the the uh, routine. Uh, I would uh, double check my. Uh, uh, to be sure my you know again we're talking about not uh, not necessarily having to use external processing if uh, we be sure and run our uh, our compressor at a 3 out of 10 run our compressor at a 3 out of 10 and then go to the ALC and adjust our mic level to where the ALC is running mid scale to two thirds mid scale to two thirds I'll guarantee you well <laughs> that uh, you will probably be running uh, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation Roger. Okay, I got you there. This radio has uh, the, the compressor either on or off. There's no setting. It's either processor on or processor off. So um, all I can do is turn the processor on and then turn the mic game down until I stay within the ALC range. Okay, uh, let's have a go at it. Uh, go ahead and engage the processor and then uh, adjust your mic level to, for mid scale to two thirds on your ALC. And uh, let's see what you, what you sound like. Uh, processor 
I'm overdriving ALC, so I'm turning the I'm turning the mic uh, down until I can get it back within the. Room. Okay, so uh, yeah, you, so you can set your ALC level uh, on the next transmission uh, with your uh, mic gain. So that's why it's very, very sensitive and hard to, hard to adjust. Roger. Well, I just, uh, you know, just speak normally like um, uh, you would, you know, and uh, then uh, either uh, bring your uh, mic level offer down to where your uh, ALC is running a mid-scale to two-thirds. All right. Well, I'll keep giving it a shot there. Um, um, I'm right at the bottom of the, of the mic game, and it keeps speaking, and then it drops off to zero. So it's really it's a very sensitive uh, all right, I would turn the um, the uh, mic gain up to about, uh, how, does it have numbers? No, no numbers. Oh, isn't that clever? <laughs> I love these. Well, I mean, why, why, would, why would you not have numbers on something that you adjust and you have to say, oh, well, I'm, I'm at uh, 2 o'clock, I'm at 6 o'clock. Well, that's the way we deal with suckers that don't put numbers on dials. Turn that uh, mic gain to 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Roger. All right, the mic gain's at 10 o'clock. Um, when I look at the ALC, it's like peaking the meter. Are you in the red? Yep, all the way in the red. All right, uh, 8.30. 8.30, and it's still peaking to me. This is what it was doing before. I was saying it, it, when, I'm, when I've got the processor on, it just it peaks the meter almost no matter what I do. All right, uh, uh, 7 o'clock. If <laughs> I don't know if you were transmitting then or not, maybe seven o'clock is off. That's what I was saying. If, if there's like a, um, there's like a, uh, um, uh, I, I turn it down, it peaks, it peaks, it peaks, and then it cuts off like it's uh, like a cliff. Roger. Well, uh, in the outstanding aspects of the design of that radio, that they couldn't afford to put numbers on your on your uh, controls, they also couldn't put you a control for your uh, your compressor. So you know, that's that radio was obviously designed by Glenn Close Enough. Now, Glenn Close Enough has designed many things. Uh, he designed my coffee pot, uh, and the problem is that every time I pour a cup of coffee, regardless of how much coffee in the pot I wind up with a coffee on the on the tabletop it just will not pour without spilling so I say that's another product designed by Glenn close enough Roger well Roger Roger and I think what I've learned is turn my pressure off turn my uh, mic gate up to about uh, 10 o'clock Yeah, Roger. You're going to turn the compressor off and then uh, bring your mic gain up to where your ALC is mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger? Well, Roger, Roger. You're very, very helpful. I really appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm also in 73. So I'm going to get out there and uh, work, work on there. Uh, it's zero zero four Delta Alpha Sierra. So I'll say 73. Roger, Roger, you're about to fade out. Uh, so uh, three is that way. And uh, the, the most important reading is your ALC. And uh, you want to run, be sure and run that at uh, mid scale to two thirds as you're watching your uh, uh, modulation on your watt meter and you're faithfully uh, working that microphone as best you can to keep your audio at uh, zero level. <laughs> and then you balance three balls simultaneously. Uh, three is that way, we'll catch you later. It says KC9 VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network.